today I'm out on the KTM 890 Adventure R and uh, I just rode about 30 miles on this bike to Johnson Lane. My first impressions are um, it's a big motorcycle. You know, it reminds me of the bikes I used to ride on the street. Um, the cruise control is amazing. The motor, I think you get adjusted to it. It does have some pretty good torque down low, but it definitely doesn't, I wouldn't say it wants to live there. Um, it's hard for me to put my feet, I can't put both feet on the ground. Uh, tippy toe maybe, so that's a little un encouraging as far as confidence goes. Um, so now we're here, we're gonna be doing some dirt and I'm going to see how it does on the dirt. I'll give you a quick overview. Bike. Definitely looks badass and it's kind of intimidating to be honest with you. So I'm um, hoping I can settle in with it and uh, feel uh, good out here uh, in the desert. A couple more things I wanted to point out is the seat's okay. Uh, the seating position from seat to bars is pretty neutral for me. It feels pretty good. Uh, the knee position's a little on the tight side. It feels a little cramped, and if I sit back up higher on the seat, I start to get a little bit further away from the bars. But just something I'm noticing. Not sure if my knees will be able to handle that for long periods of time. First impressions, this is a big bike. Um, suspension's a little on the harsh side. I don't know what the settings are and um, yeah it's just a big difference from a dirt bike that's for sure right now I'm just in the off-road mode with the off-road ABS and traction um, the brakes are pretty damn good and it's got power but I wouldn't say it's over the top, but it's there. Uh, standing position's pretty good. Bars are a little low. For tall people, they'd be really low. You know, the motor's kind of a weird thing. It's like, I don't necessarily like the motor, because it's just so, I don't know the word I'm looking for. Mechanical, like, just very functional. It's just, I'm a motor, I do what I do, but it doesn't have a lot of character. You see, it's not a lot of work to ride it. And that's kind of a cool thing. It's just it's taking the lines I wanted to take without a whole lot of, lot of effort. It's just, it's just taking it. Definitely up on the pegs. This front windshield makes me nervous. Now I'm just kind of fucking through here. I'm not going super fast. I'm going about 25 miles an hour. I'm just trying to see what this thing will do. It takes those rocks really good. And if you slow your speeds down, it's just kind of very planted. And I'm actually hitting the rocks and the motor's not wanting to die it's super low in the rpms right now but that's good because that gives you a lot of traction it's very predictable Whew. now this thing will dance definitely will dance and i'm running whatever the street pressure is on the tire which is probably beating me up a little more than it would if the pressures were lowered. But this is not my bike, and I don't need a flat today. What a beautiful day, though. Uh, it's fun to be out here. I do have the traction control on, and it's not really intrusive. I mean, it, you dig into it, it, it does its job. That's kind of cool. It just lets the back end drift out a little bit without 
freaking me out. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah, this bike's pretty, uh, pretty capable. I mean, it's not afraid to go fast at all. that it wants to go fast. It doesn't really want to go slow. Alright. I will tell you, when it's stopped, it's a little... A little intimidating. Not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. Alright. Well... This bike is a complicated bike. It's just like a, it's like a death soldier, you know. It's it's all, it's all business, no frills. Well, it keeps your traction, your um, settings, which is cool. Um, still a little tall, but I'm getting used to it. I definitely. I'm having a hard time putting both feet down, so I can't put both feet down at once. It's low center gravity is pretty nice. You can feel it's a big bike though. But the brakes, they do what you ask them to do, which is really nice. Clutch is pretty good too, actually. I'm one fingering the clutch and so far I haven't been upset with it. kind of torques through all that. Just, I'm in a high gear though, so I'm like 2,000 RPMs. I mean, it just picks up right there. So they definitely made this motor pretty good. Uh, I will say too, it doesn't, it's not a lot of work to turn it, to move it around. Kind of goes where you tell it. And I'm just like splitting those things. Brakes are really nice. I mean, you can get surgical with these brakes, and it just the lines are just really smooth. It's docile. On this stuff, it just cruises. It's very, very planted. It handles that stuff really good. I'm just trying to get the hang of this thing. I think right now my least favorite part is the seat height. Stopping and finding that kickstand. But when it's moving, it's very agile. I think I'm getting used to the harshness. It handles the big bumps really good. Bike. Yeah, just shoot that all up. Why well, I really would like to, to ride a Tenere and see the difference. Yeah, it grabs. Those tires grab pretty good. Like being down on the low RPMs. Yeah, suspension is pretty good. Rebound probably needs to be adjusted a little bit. Just chewing up this fire road, so. I just went up a pretty rocky hill climb and it just went. Uh, didn't even need to clutch the motor. It's just very, very tractable. Very tractable power. 
I'm now going down, this is a pretty rocky descent. And to be honest with you, the bike feels pretty good. I'm sitting down and it feels very stable. up on the pegs now back brakes doing its job might need some adjustment but it's going through there okay this is pretty rocky right here it's just, this is with street pressures too I, I go back to I don't know what it'd be like if I lower the pressure a little bit but it just goes where I point it and it stays on its line really well so well, my impression now is that this is a pretty nimble bike and it can do whatever you ask of it. Kind of reminds me of a kind of a nimble GS. Uh, it does that, did that pretty easily. Clutch is really nice on this bike. Kind of no nonsense. Just get it done. Uh, the big fuel tank is awesome. I don't even know there's fuel. It does not feel like this bike has five gallons of gas in it or whatever I got it now. It is so well hidden. It just, uh, just doesn't even feel like it's there. doesn't make the bike feel bigger, I'll tell you that. So definitely handling this terrain quite well with being a big bike. Better than a GS? I don't know about that. Aggressive than a GS for sure. Better than a GS. I don't know. GS is a pretty darn nimble. And yeah, you can just put if you want to. Suspension is pretty harsh though. It's on the slow stuff. This looks like sand to me. Got a little wet there. Um, the bike recovers well. I hit some uh, sand a couple spots and I was able to correct the front tire and get it back up relatively easy. And I think the more you ride it, the more you're going to get used to that. One thing I will say is this bike does beat you up in the rough stuff. Kind of now wondering how the Nord 901 would compare to this with the softer suspension. And then even more than that is what about the Tenere? Um, it's a premium bike though. This bike is very well sorted out. It just feels super refined, super compliant. It does everything it's supposed to do. The traction control, the MPC is really, really cool. I'm not afraid if I grab that throttle that I'm gonna get, you know, high sided, you know? It's like, it's like the bike, it's like the bike knows what to do. It takes scrap pretty, pretty head on. I mean, it's, but you're right, and it's kind of rough. And I feel everything right now. A lot more than I'd like to. Yeah, I mean, this thing is beating me up. Huh. That's just too harsh. One thing, I, one thing I want to say is I'm very, very glad I rented this bike. And I would recommend renting a motorcycle like this to anybody before you go and spend the you know, $18,000 it's gonna take after you get it out the door and then realize you have something you don't like. hard edge on this rocky beat up shit and that's the desert. I don't want to feel it like that. 
that's probably so my two things are yes the suspension is amazing but it's super super aggressive like like almost not fun aggressive um and i mean yeah you can spend the money to get this thing probably valve and all that or do their aftermarket stuff now you're talking thousands of more dollars the other thing is it's a little tall everything else is Brakes are really, really good. Traction control is awesome. Throttle's fine. I'm worried about the ride by wire. It doesn't, you can't even tell. It's really pretty damn fine. But what I would say though is it's just hardcore on the rocky stuff. And I don't, I don't want to float across stuff. I don't want to bash across stuff. I'm not. 19 years old. Very nimble. It's almost like cheating. If the suspension was plusher, this bike would be freaking off the chain. Off the chart. The balance of this bike makes it um, really good when you have to get out of sticky stuff. I was in some sand there and just the power and the traction and everything worked fine. Um, I could tell it was big, um, but I was able to get footing and it wasn't too bad. Uh, I checked the compression on this bike and it was at 15. So this is the comfort setting on this bike. And I don't know, maybe if the rebound was tightened up a bit, it would be more comfortable than it is. But. It's just tough because this bike is doing a lot of things really, really good. Really good. Um, it just beats you up on the rocks. Standing up's not so bad because you're kind of light on the pegs and kind of letting the bike move around underneath you. Learning that you can kind of trust that. But it's definitely um, aggressive. Standing position's a little cramped. I'm like, it, I mean, like, my body weight's over the front tire, which is a good thing, but your neck is in a weird position. Like, for a long time, it's a little uncomfortable. And uh, the jarring, also a little uncomfortable. Oh, this is amazing. Very, very cool. Agile at slow speeds. Very, very agile at slow speeds. I tell you, the bike feels like you're cheating. Probably my biggest complaints are the seat height and the suspension. Everything else is pretty awesome. I think I need to check out the Norton. back to these brakes. My concerns about not getting a 90 or something like this is not getting the brakes and the safety of the off-road ABS and all that. For the Tenere, you are it's all about your ability to ride. Actually a good test. I'm surprised this one. Just gotta stand up. Bye-bye. Okay, that's 
a lot. That's just, that's scary. That was scary. Sand is scary on these. <laughs> I'll be honest. Just got to the half tank. That means if I was on itinerary, I would need to get gas pretty soon. Uh, that tracks the turbo. It's pretty awesome.
and I mean I'm loving it. And it's not stalling. It's a little slower than it probably wants to go. We're right out of that now. That's just gorgeous. a pretty good bike. Stretching's a little rough off-road. And the, the knee triangle's a little, a little tough. You can get lower pegs and then uh, I don't I don't know how big guys can enjoy this bike. This thing's a pretty good road bike. Yeah, it's, it's a nice bike. The wind is probably its worst attribute. And if that suspension was valve a little like plusher, boy, this bike would be amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and do my final impressions of this bike here because it's a little easier because I'm not in traffic and at this place yet. Um, what do I gotta say about this bike? It's badass. Um, it does a lot of things very well. And um, there probably isn't a better adventure bike out there. It really is that good. And it's a great street bike. The wind buffeting is uh, definitely something that I think needs to be addressed. However, everything else, the cruise control is just spot on. The motor's got plenty of power. It, you know, it's it's got lots of torque. The switch block is just perfect. Um, it's really a pretty dang good bike. In fact, the seat is not that bad. So that's my final impressions on the bike. Still a little taller than I'd like, but I'm, I've been getting used to it. Um, suspension in the rocks is harsh. And the windscreen. Those are my two, two gripes. Everything else is perfect. Thanks for watching.